Hello colleagues. This is Factory Tycoon, defined as an idle business game where we manage the infrastructure of product and input assembly lines. This game works in three parts interacting with each other. On the left side, the supply of raw material. In the center, the production tables. And on the right, the expedition. So we can see that there are three departments that depend on each other, but in a sense, first we have to receive the raw material and then turn it into the products we will eventually sell and with the money from the sale we will upgrade the sectors to increase the volumes and speeds of collection, production and sale. The operation of this game reminds us of Mining Tycoon, but we can choose the type of product to be assembled, and whether it will be sold or used as a part for the manufacture of other products. Thus, we can observe that we have three main routines. First, the distribution of raw material. Second, the transformation of materials into goods or input. Third, the collection of goods produced for sale. This generates two flows, the production flow and the financial flow. Attention! The financial flow occurs when the symbol above the products changes and the values are referred to the value of sale, in cash, which means that this information refers to the monetary value of the goods. From these elements, we can notice what is called in the study of organizational environment logistics. From this concept, we can analyze its operation through the qualitative method, that is, we can observe the information and operational values available to better organize what we will invest in updating the departments. But how can we organize the flows, investments and productivity of this manufacturing system? According to Balu, 2015, Bauer Sox, 1991, Days, 2016, and Max Hewell et al. 2006, the efficient operation of an enterprise must consider, besides the sustainable optimization of the productive cycle, the available resources and their replacement expectations. We should consider replenishing stocks before reaching safety levels and overburdening other sectors. In order for performance not to be compromised by the lack or excess of stock depleted materials, the ideal recommended by the authors is to maintain a continuous replenishment flow proportional to the production levels. In other words, the ideal is to restore the stock in measures proportional to the volumes produced. This method is defined as just in time and targets the continuous flow of production by maintaining continuous and balanced turnover of materials moved between departments, which maintains low inventory levels. Starting from this theoretical context for the simulation provided in this game, we notice that everything we decide to do ends up impacting the way operations are developed. If we invest only in the supply of raw material, the production department will end up with overload of stock materials, that is, they will be waiting in the queue to be transformed. This is the first type of production bottleneck, but we can have the reverse, little supply and too much production, where the manufacturing would have to stop to wait for the supply of inputs, or in other words, a bottleneck due to lack of inventory. Bringing this context to that of the game, we can observe that, similar to the one seen in the mining tycoon, it is possible to find bottlenecks of overproduction and lack of inventory occurring in function of the productive cycles. However, we can adopt decisions that can balance the sectors in order to simulate an efficient environment in mixed production, where the flow of distribution, manufacturing and sales. From the perspective of these authors, the ideal is to organize the use of processes, procedures, resources, means and technologies in order to optimize the production system and minimize costs. However, we have to consider that there are obstacles, bottlenecks and deficits that unbalance operations. Some of them are tied to the supply and consumption, which we can work on the way we invest the operational cash flow in updates in each department. For such logical reasons, we have seen that the study of logistics in this game is related to the analysis we make of the three operations, the first of supply of inputs, the second about production, the third about distribution and how we will invest in the expansion of the productive capacity of the system. 
Thus we can integrate the processes into the productive cycle, seeing the bottlenecks as a way of training our logical reasoning in solving the instabilities in the productive balance. This audio was made by the application voice of the narrator, and the text by Isaac Mello. Thank you for your attention and good studies to you. See you in the next lessons.